my name is Susan and welcome to Sketchbook Stories. In this series I'm going to open up the pages of my own sketchbooks to show you exactly what's inside. The good, the bad and the messy. I will explain the story behind each sketch and describe exactly how it was created. Let's get stuck in. Hello and welcome. So today for sketchbook stories, I want to show you inside my big A4 moleskin sketchbook. And I want to talk about this page here. Now this page here was created, it's a double page spread. It was created in January, 2022, when I took myself off on a mini weekend retreat away on my own in the New Forest. And this sketchbook page was created from a number of different sketches and bits and pieces all kind of cobbled together on the same page. Now, first of all, I went for a long walk from the hotel that I was staying at and I used this little map as a way of navigating. So I walked out of the hotel and then I walked around and I did this um, looping walk into the New Forest. So I took my map and I took my sketchbook with me. I also took a pencil and um, a couple of other bits um, to sketch with. Now this sketch here at the top was a landscape sketch that I did about here uh, on this map. You can see it just about here. So I walked all the way out of the hotel, um, took some photos along the way, then I stopped about here and I just took a pencil and I did this sketch here um, whilst I was sort of standing up holding this sketchbook um, and I just did the pencil sketch when I was out on location. So I did this sketch here. I then carried on walking, um, moving along a bit further, and then again, just using pencil, I sketched this little bit of gorse. I think it's called gorse. The you know the little spiky plants with the little yellow flowers. I sketched this, and then carried on walking. Took loads more photos, and then finally, I sketched this um, fern using just a little bit of charcoal whilst I was out. So I took a really small sketching pack with me that would have been a pencil, a couple of pens, a little bit of charcoal, not very much because I was carrying this massive sketchbook. Um, I don't always take such a big sketchbook out with me, but I fancied working a little bit bigger and creating this spread. So after my initial sort of afternoon of walking, doing this loop, I had done this sketch in pencil, this little sketch in pencil, and this little one here in charcoal. Once I returned back to my hotel, I kind of set up my own little art studio. I cut out the map, stuck it in, wrote over the top using watercolour and pencil here, just so that I had a record of the walk that I'd actually done. Then I got my watercolour paints out. So I have a watercolour um, pan here. It's the Windsor & Newton Professional range. It has 24 colours plus an extra, I think, four that I've popped in that I quite like using. Um, and all I did was just looked back at my reference photos. So for each of these things, I took some reference photos, swatched a few colours and just added a little bit of colour using just a simple paintbrush, something like this onto the page. Played with a bit of a colour, added a little bit more colour here. And again, just played with filling the space with some forest inspired colours. This was just glued in this map and I just went over it with a little bit of colour. And that is the story behind this sketchbook page. Um, I had a lot of fun. It was created over a weekend um, in Brockenhurst in the New Forest. Um, and I quite like doing a sketchbook page like this where I've got a slightly bigger sketchbook. I'm able to do sort of one sketch here at the top, stick something in as a record. You know, I love recording this map of where I went because it, you know, I've always got this to refer back to. Um, and it probably did take me about 90 minutes and I did definitely do this sort of three mile walk. Something I love to do when I'm sketching landscapes and I'm actually out on location is just soak up the atmosphere. I don't always, if I'm going somewhere, spend the whole time sketching. I don't just walk to a single place and sketch. What I like to do is walk, to observe, to look, to see the animals, to notice the trees and the plants. I'll often take a little piece of, you know, the leaves on the floors, the twigs, the stones, the, the fern. I'll collect these things up, take it back, soak it in. And then I'll often do a few sketches on location, take a ton of reference photos um, and just enjoy the experience. I think something really important about going out on location is enjoying the experience as well. 
Um, so that is the story behind this sketchbook page, which was created in January 2022 um, in the New Forest in Brockenhurst, sketching directly from the landscape.